Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Lynch with Arizona Pain Specialist. Today I'm going to be doing a lumbar spinal cord stimulation trial for you and I'm going to walk you through the procedure. Uh, this procedure is done for people who have chronic unrelenting pain for a long period of time that hasn't been responsive to any other treatments. It's really a life-saving uh, technology for some patients. The patient we're doing this on today has had pain, uh, severe pain for seven years after a severe uh, gunshot wound to the spine. Uh, there are uh, fragments of bullets um, actually in the spinal cord and in nerve roots that causes severe pain in the low back and the legs. We're going to try to do this spinal cord stem trial today to see if we can get coverage of that pain and relief of pain. If it gets at least 50% better with the trial, then we'll recommend a permanent implant. I'm going to walk you through the procedure step by step. So the first thing we do is we look at the intralamular space at the level we're going to enter in. We're going to go in around the T12 interlaminar space on this one. Look at the interlaminar space at the level that we will be entering. I'll be entering here um, at the T12 L1 interlaminar space. I start about a level and a half below and I numb the skin. You're going to feel a little stick here, okay, my friend? Shot. Go live. At this point, we put an eight electrode uh, lead from St. Jude uh, into the epidural space, and we will direct this to the correct location in the spinal cord, uh, sp in the uh, spinal column, to cover the pain in the patient's left leg. You can see it going up on slightly to the left of the midline here. And I'm going into the T10 area. I'm going to leave that one there. I'm going to put a second electrode and then I may reposition that a little bit. Come back down. Stop. But we get towards you just a touch. Shot. Shot. Little numbing medicine again, okay? You're doing great. We do this procedure with light sedation so we can talk to the patient and make sure we're in the right spot that covers their area of pain. Shot. You go live. This is called a loss of resistance technique where we attach a loss of resistance. Right there you saw a loss of resistance, which means that the needle is in the epidural space. At that point we put a second electrode in and go live. And you can see it in the epidural space. We're just entering the T10 vertebral body area. And I will place this electrode all the way up to approximately T8 <clears throat> in the midline to try to cover the low back and both legs. The second electrode is going to be specifically targeted at his left leg, which is his worst area of pain. That's nine. And then going into eight. With that configuration, I'm covering T8, T9, T10, T11, and part of T12. I believe we're in a large enough area that we're going to be able to get all the patient's pain. We're going to go ahead and attach it and see what we get. At this point, we're connecting the spinal cord stimulation leads to the uh, external uh, programmer, and the representative from St. Jude will try to program and get coverage directly over the patient's pain. Now, the patient today has pain in a very large area, the low back, both legs, um, and there are different types of pain. Um, there's a lot of multiple bullet fragments throughout the spine, so this will be a little more challenging than normal, but um, we think the patient has a good chance of getting better with this. Spinal cord stimulation works better for neuropathic pain, which means pain of nerve origin, and that's exactly what uh, my patient today has.
So we have tingling in the left leg, um, where the patient normally has pain there. I will test it early. Excellent. So we've got good coverage over the, uh, the worst area of pain that we were concerned about today was the left leg. And so we've got great coverage of that area. We're now going to see if we can get a little bit over the low back um, as well. So with the two different electrodes, we were able to get the left leg um, and also uh, the low back. So we're real happy with that placement. We'll go ahead and take the uh, needles out at this point. We'll take the patient to the uh, PACU and we'll do a little bit further programming. We'll hope this uh, helps a lot. Thanks a lot.